Hello everyone. I hope you all will be absolutely fine and having a fun. Today, I would like to provide a complete discussion on servo motor control using my Rio. In this tutorial I will tell you about the control of a servo motor using NI my Rio. First of all, I will give you a brief introduction on servo motors and then we will proceed towards there, interfacing with my Rio. Servo motor is an electronic device with a small output shaft. This shaft can be adjusted at different angles for the different purposes. We can adjust the shaft by sending a signal usually known as servo coded signal. Servo motor is able to maintain a particular angle as long as it has the servo coded signal at its input. Servo motor changes the angular position of its shaft with every change in the servo coded signal applied at its input. I have already designed and shared servo motor control in Proteus. If you are using the servo motor for the first time then you must go through this tutorial. This design is always helpful to the beginners. In my previous tutorial I have controlled DC motor using NIMI Rio. DC motor is a simple device having two input terminals. We just have to supply voltage at its terminals and it starts rotating in either direction, depending upon the polarity of the applied voltage. Whereas, servo motor has three input terminals. Two terminals are for the power supply and one is for sending servo coded signal to rotate, at specific angle and in specific direction as well. If some electrical projects require some mobile, move able not static, tasks, servo motor will be the better option. It is easily available in the market and has a low cost. There are a lot of real life applications associated with servo motors. For example, robotics, elevators, aircrafts, remote controlled appliances, vehicles, solar tracking system, automated baby cradle system, conveyor belt system and a lot more. The further detail about servo motor control using MyRia will be given later in this tutorial. Servo motor is a device with a small output shaft. It has three input terminals. Two terminals are for the power supply and the third is for sending the servo coded signal. The electrical or electronics projects where there is a need of motion. Servo will be the best option in this case. The shaft of the servo motor changes its position corresponding to the servo coded signal applied at its input. It has a wide range of applications including robotics, automated baby cradle, solar tracking systems, elevators etc. Servo motor is shown in the figure given below. For the tutorial, visit the link below and get the whole procedure to do this.